Hello everyone. Welcome to Offensive Security Series by Piper Academy. I hope you all doing well. I am super excited to meet you all and present another interesting video. In the past I have demonstrated how to create a PDF payload but it was flagged and removed. So thought to recreate a tutorial on how to create a PDF payload and I have prepared this new video. Today I will create a PDF payload using PowerShell and WinRAR like a hacker. Moreover, I'm going to test the payload in the virtual lab as a proof of concept. This ethical hacking video will provide you with valuable insight into payload creation and guide you through the best practices to enhance your knowledge in this area. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Disclaimer. This video is purely for education and information purpose. It is not intended to encourage any malicious or harmful activity. I'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video. You are solely responsible for your action and we'll use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Please note that unauthorized hacking or accessing other system or network is strictly prohibited and illegal even if this video demonstrate ethical hacking practice on my own devices. Let's go and see the requirement for this project. Requirement is we need a virtual box, which is a virtualization software. So Kali Linux, we are going to uh, use the Kali machine as an attacker machine. And we need a Windows 10. Uh, and also we need a PS2 EXE setup file, WinRAR. And obviously we need a plan. Let's go and see it over there. So this is the plan. First step is we are going to create a PowerShell script using a set toolkit. Set toolkit is again pre-installed with the Kali. Only thing is we just need to go and generate a PowerShell script. Then after getting the PowerShell script, we just going to convert the PowerShell script into a exe file. Then step three, we are going to download a PDF, which is something like a legitimate PDF. And we are going to embed the payload, the PowerShell payload, along with the PDF using a WinRAR. And we are going to execute the malware. This is the uh, plan and this is a project plan. So let's go and execute it. So the first step is we have to go to Kali uh, to create a, a PowerShell script. So let's quickly go and launch set sudo toolkit so we just going to use called one social engineering attack option number one and we just going to use a powershell attack vector option. so we select it and this will ask you what kind of powershell script you want to create it in my case i'm just going to create a powershell reverse shell script so i have to select two and I have to give the reverse host. In this case, my Kali machine IP address. Uh, so if you want to give a, a publicly want to access it, uh, you can use a ng-rock or port forwarding, any technologies you can use it. But this is demonstration I'm just doing in my lab environment. So I'm just going to give my Kali machine IP address, which is 10.0.2.24. Uh, in your case, if you are doing this demonstration internally, IP might change. So in my case, it is this is what. So let me give it. And uh, the port number for the listener, I just leave it as its default. If you want to change it, you can change it. Uh, so I'm just going with the default option, 443. And uh, you want to start the listener. Uh, so at the moment, I don't want it. So let me keep it as a no. And if you see the script is actually created, uh, it's available in this path. So what you need to do is you need to go to uh, this directory, cd. Uh, first of all, let me switch it to root. And let me go to, so now we have to copy this entire thing and just paste cd, right click, paste, ls. So we can see the file is there. So now we will copy this PowerShell .wstat into var .ww.html into shell .text file. We will convert as a text file. And let's launch the service apache2.start. Okay. So web service is actually starting. So to confirm that, let's go and click status. It is running. So let's go and quickly convert this 
power shell script into a executable file so tool you have to download it uh, i'll be giving the link in the description you don't need to worry about it so you have to go to module and uh, under the module you have to download this if you are downloaded you just need to execute the powershell in the administrator and please install this module okay because if this module is needed otherwise the executable file will not work so or once it is done so let's go and try to pull that and so cali mission ip is 10.0.24 rev shell.txt so the powershell script is ready so now what we're doing i'm going to do is let me copy and just if you open a notepad and let me copy paste it and save this file the downloads folder dot shell dot psc1 that is a powershell extension so i'm just saving over there so let me save it let me close everything so let me close this tab let me go back to the downloads folder so if you see that the shell file is there so now let's me open this win ps2 exe open so now we have to give the source file so the source file is shell this is what we need to select and we want the exe target file to be in the downloads folder let it be select the folder and if you want icon we can give it but you don't need to worry so we have we will suppress the output and suppress the error output just click it and start compiling it should launch and it should happen in case if you are having this error message like it is executable marav so what we can do is uh, we can open a cyber chef let me open the thing let me open the code uh, so just copy everything and uh, let's go to the cyber chef and paste it so we have to change it to base 64 so that this is how we can bypass it so just copy and uh, let me go to the notepad again and let me remove everything and just name it as powershell hyphen c and just paste this one and save it so we just so that this entire script is encrypted so that it will work and we are saying that you have to execute this program in the uh here so that is a one thing so now let's go and uh, we will try to convert now this so let's go open this one and same file so now compile it now you will not get the error message so now if it is just compiling so if you go back uh let me go to the notepad so she said the shell is file is created so now we have successfully created a shell payload uh, so now we'll go to the plan again so as per the plan we just generated the power shell script using the power set kit and we converted into a exe file now we are going to embed the payload and legitimate paper into a pdf using winrar okay so now we'll so and so for this one you need a winrar you can download winrar is a free you can go and download it i have already downloaded uh, so at the time of recording the winrar version is 6.23 so you have to go for a 64 bit uh, so download it uh, i have downloaded and installed it so let me go downloads folder uh, right click this one uh, add to archive and let's use a double extension to spoof the uh, extension so what we'll do is sample.pdf.rar that's a double extension technique so i am just spoofing the domains so that people even though there is an extension it will feel that if there is a pdf file kind of thing so i'm just spoofing the end. so let's create sfs file archive so now what i'll do is let me go to advanced option sfs option so we are going to so we are going to say that after extract what you have to do this thing so that is what we are going to say it so after this is extract so you need to open that sample.pdf file you have to open it then after that you need to open shell.exe file this is what you need to do is then go to the, the text and icon so we have to upload this ic icons over there so what we will do so i'm just going to download this icon uh, so i want an ico file select ico and download ico so i have successfully downloaded the icon file so let's go to the winrar and uh, let's select this one this is from the file 
and we have to go to downloads and let's go to the update so here let it be extract and replace so if in case if you want to overwrite just overwrite the uh, write all the files in case if it is keep extracting one more time or run just overwrite because otherwise it will be more suspicious that is what i'm just not giving anything over there so click ok then click ok so now we will be able to see the sample text file so if you see that this is the file we have this is the actual file which we create this is what from there and this is a normal file if you see that it looks very let me zoom it if you see that sample.pdf that is a that is why i have created a double extension so there looks like a pdf and icon also i created so it completely look like a pdf file so there won't be a suspicious that is a it kind of a rare file or something else so it looks very legitimate so you can share it with the victim using a social engineering technique before i executing this malicious payload i just need to run a listener in a kali linux so let's go to the kali and execute the listener so sudo nc l netcat i'm just going to use it and i'm just opening port 443 so let it open so listener is on so let's go and execute the payload so let's go and launch this one so double click that if you see that this is actually open a pdf so it's look like a legitimate pdf is open but parallelly it is opened up our reverse shell script also so let's go and see what has happened in the kali so if you see that it has actually opened a reverse shell for us i gave it so if you see that if i just gave a command who am i it's good so let me try to get a system info so you can say that uh so there is a hypervisor has been detected so fixes are there installed it and you say that this is a processor microsoft workstation so I just basically I got the backdoor access. If I do a directory command, it's tell me that which directory I'm there. So if I want to move around to the directories, I can do it. I can do a lot of things over there. So I can upload the other one more backdoor and those things over there. So I can do a lot with the backdoor. So this is how actually hackers are embedding the uh, payload with the PDFs and uh, using the social engineering attack, they're delivering to the victims and uh, they're getting the backdoor access over there. So what I'm showed is a demo. It's a proof of concept. The options are limitless. You can tune it as you wanted. Even instead of a SE toolkit, you can use a PowerShell script on your own, or you can create a hawk shells, or you can use any other tools. You can use any any kind of encryptions. You can play around it. So the options are limitless. So this is something a glimpse, the idea about it. So from there, you can top of that you can build a lot of things over there thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session i hope you found the content both informative and useful if you enjoy this video and would like to see more content like this please let me know in the comment below your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos also feel free to share this video with others who might find it useful or interesting if you have any questions or need further clarification in this video, don't hesitate to reach me out via Discord Telegram. The links are in the description. You can go and download it. Lastly, a big thank to all my subscribers and supporters. Your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you. Stay safe. Stay curious. See you soon with another interesting video. Bye for now. Take care.